Well, good morning everybody. Carlos here, just doing a trailer video for today, for today's Douglas Creek Run episode. This is the entry into the forest of fun. They put up some new signage on the bridge, on the hikers bridge. So I'm gonna start my audio recording as this trailer ends. Running at eight minutes pace at the moment. Alongside Douglas Creek. Pretty soon I'll get to the new bridge. Thought it might be snowy today, but it rained all last night. And then the skies cleared. Then it became cold. I'm wearing gloves. Sweaters. I'm wearing running tights and my training pants. So this is the new bridge. I see the new signage. I'm just going to take a few still shots of the signage and then I'll read them later. Alright, so this is the running jackal saying, tune in to my full show. So hello again, Carlos here. Just starting the audio recording now. I've taken some interesting photographs of the new signage at the new bridge. This is going to be the Douglas Creek run. I'm going to go right down as much as I can on the side of the creek to the beach. Hello! So, Douglas Creek Trail. I think they just call it Douglas Trail, actually. Excuse me. I have to figure out when to press pause and when to start making photos and videos. As I said, I just have my trailer done. Now it's just a matter of getting down along the side of the creek. That's a nice trail. Just going to take another photograph here. Okay, so I've taken a few more photographs now. I think I have enough for one of my epic trailer videos. Mind you, if you're at this stage of the show, you've already seen the epic trailer. I'm heading now towards the new stairs to the beach as I cross Ash Road. Still beside the creek here. Downhill all the way to the beach. Then I'm going to come back, go through the old outdoor school classroom up to Whitaker and then up to Norn. Once I get to Norn I'm heading back towards Glen Denning. Lots of branches on the ground here today. There's, oh, oh, there's a fallen tree here. Hi there. Did you do this? You just pushed it over. What vandals you are. I knew there'd be some blowdown today. Okay. You okay? 
this is li literally bushwhacking. Well, yes, we have to climb through another tree. Oh. If I brought my machete with me, I could have cleared it for you, but... Let me go first, okay? Thank you. you could stomp a few things down. Well, yes. I don't want to get my eye poked out. Oh, there's some clothing down here. Good luck, ladies. So two trees that we have to climb through there. I little wonder why my pace is somewhat snail-like these days. This is typical West Coast conditions for midwinter. I guess December is almost midwinter, isn't it? Now down, down, down towards the new beach. This is 2.2 K from my fridge. Oh, that looks a little ominous. They put a sandwich truck and storm fence here. Oh, that's a shame. I don't think I'm going to get to see uh, the new stairs. I don't really want to go around the barrier that's so obviously there for a reason. There might be a view. Hello there. Do you know what they're doing down there? Are they uh, I, they're putting in a new set of stairs. Oh, that's what they're doing. I was going to go down and take a photograph, but obviously they don't want us to go down. Yeah, yeah. You can't see it from here, though, eh? No, no. No, no I read it in the Sandwich News. It said something about they were going to put new signage on the bridge on Douglas Creek, which they've okay. got. Yeah, I just walked by there. Yeah, yeah nice signs, lots yeah. of them. And they said uh, in the paper that they were going to... New stairs. New, uh, probably aluminum stairs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Less maintenance, I guess. Anyway, have a good hike. All right, so that's that idea blown out of the water. But that's obviously what they're doing. Maybe tomorrow I'll come back, have another look. This is the outdoor school. As the kids arrive. Just running across the parking lot. These kids are less than two years old. Some of them all zipped up in there snow suits I've already deviated slightly from my intended route but that's okay it would have worked out at over 8k 5 miles but uh, it's probably going to be bang on 8k. I had the idea of going down to the beach, which was stymied. I had the idea of going up to the top and then cutting across the road, but I'm following an old routine of cutting across here. So this is a pedestrian crossing across Cordova Bay Road. Safe. Now I'm on Whitaker for a little while. So today is a three layer day. I have my orange club fat ass t-shirt on, short sleeve. I have my 
podcaster's sweater on and then I have a jacket with a zip that I usually reserve for when I'm on my e-bike. It'll come out in the photos. It's nice being overdressed when it's cold, especially with the long johns. Never had two layers on my legs before. All right, so I have to remember to cut up towards Norn pretty soon. This is normally where Norma and I get to when we're doing the Whitaker run. But today, instead of heading back, I'm going to head up and then back along Norn. Norn is parallel to Whitaker at this stage. So this is where I turn up towards Norn. It's going to be some hiking today, but blissfully there is no ice and there is no snow. Lots of blowdown though. Trees to the left of me, trees to the right of me. I'll get back to you. As I approach Norn, doing a snail-like 10 minute pace, I will speed up very soon as I start to traverse. Uh, another tree blown down. Didn't make the whole fall, it just got snagged by another tree, a bigger tree. But that one was blown over last night, probably around 10.30. I really heard the wind blow up, a storm as they say. So now I'm traversing the mountain, running on Norn, running towards the south. Glendenning will be my point of exit from the park. I have my road shoes on and I'm being super cautious today. It's only Wednesday. Hi there. Hi. I see her a lot. She either hikes or runs. She's always out here, almost as often as I am. Lots of helicopter activity today. Not sure why. I think it's just the time of the day. There's two helicopters out of Victoria Harbour around 8.30, 9 o'clock. One of them goes to Nanaimo, and one of them goes to Vancouver. Hello. Hi. It's the same service as you could use the ferry, or the plane, in fact. The only thing about doing such a short hop is getting to and through the airport plus the taxiing, it's a, like a 24 minute flight from Sydney, BC to Vancouver, BC. You spend more time on the asphalt of the airport than you do actually flying. But with this lovely app that I have, I can track my heart's content when I'm online, which is so much fun. And because planes move relatively fast over the land, if I zoom in on any particular aircraft, I get like a 3D map, a bit like Relive, but with the, with the plane or the helicopter being tracked from this destination plus its altitude stats, plus its ground speed. 
Yep, it's a good app. But as I say, without data, I can only really use it when I'm online, like at home or in the, in the yard. All right, so I'm approaching where Norn cuts across Churchill Drive. All right, back to audio. Now I'm heading towards Whitaker again, and then Todd and Glendenning trails will take me out of the park. And then it's through Bow Park back to Lambrick Park. Yeah, now I'm on track. Took a few little scenic uh, excursions today. Some of this will involve running along some quiet neighborhood streets, but that's okay. I can do that. All right, I'll get back to you later. So, oh, nine minutes, 52 per kilometer, as I flash past the top of Harvest Lane trailhead, heading towards Glendenning. I should actually think about drawing this episode to a close. All right, past the turn-off that we always take on Sunday when we go to do the hill repeats. When I say we, I mean me and Ms. J, my charming and smart wife. Today I've been busy, got up before the sun today and uh, Baked myself a pizza pie, turkey, uh, spinach, olives, anchovies, and uh, mozzarella cheese. So I know when I get home I can eat pizza. As I approach the Glendenning Junction, So I'm now on Glendenning, just thinking of something to say at the end of this, the music. And I've run five of eight kilometers. I have three more to do. And this next section is just Glendenning Road and uh, Bow Park to Lambrick Park. I'm hanging on just a little bit longer in case I should meet Jackie. She often comes here with her dog. Okay. So no sign of Jackie. This is the end of the episode and uh, catch up with you again, hopefully on Sunday. So this is Lambrick Park. I have already shed quite a lot of clothing, but quite warm, running with three layers of clothing. 
that's okay. Better to be warm than cold. And you think, why is he running across the grass at the end of this run? Well, the reason is that the cycle path is slightly icy. So uh, I'm trying to avoid slipping on the last home stretch. So, a successful run. Everything worked out well. This is the running jackal signing off. Bye bye. And that is the mountain of joy.